This video is about the working of a simple loop DC generator. So according to the gen generator principle, an EMF is induced according to the equation E is equal to N D phi by DT. So whenever there is a conductor which moves or there is a flux linkage happening in the conductor which moves in the magnetic field, an EMF will be induced in the conductor according to the equation E is equal to N D phi by DT. So in a simple loop generator, in the simplest form, there will be a coil with the two sides. The coil will move in a magnetic field. And when the movement of the coil in the magnetic field happens, an EMF is induced in the coil. This EMF induced is AC. And if the coil is closed or it is connected to a load or a resistor, an AC current will flow caused due to the AC EMF induced in the conductor or the coil and to convert this AC induced current to DC slip rings or commutator has to be used this provides a rectifying action to convert the AC current to DC and in this way a simple loop generator in which an AC EMF is induced is converted to DC and this provides a basis for the working of a DC generator. This is a construction of a simple loop generator. The simple loop generator has two field magnets or a single magnet with two poles known as field magnets and this ma magnet produces a magnetic field and there is a conductor which forms a closed loop and the conductor has two sides A, B and C, D which is connected to the external circuit or the load resistance using slip rings. The slip rings of, are insulated from each other and also connected to the external circuit using brushes named as 1 and 2. And the EMF is induced when the conductor moves or the coil moves in a clockwise direction in the magnetic field and it is induced according to the principle of or according to the equation E is equal to N D phi by DT. It is seen that when the coil makes a complete revolution in the magnetic field, a sine wave EMF is induced and when the coil is at 90 degree with respect to the field, a maximum EMF is induced and when it is again at 270 degree with the field a negative maximum is induced and for a complete revolution a sine wave is formed which represents an AC current which flows through the load to make the AC induced current in the external load by using a simple loop generator Split, split rings are used to convert it to DC current or DC EMF. The split rings are also known as commutator segments. It essentially has two segments which are insulated from each other by using an insulator like mica and also the external brushes are connected to the segments. The split rings will also rotate along with the shaft and will change its position in contact with the brushes as the coil moves along the magnetic field. So during the positive half cycle of the rotation that is from 0 to 90 degree of the coil, the A segment will be in contact with brush number 1. So the flow of the current in the, in the circuit will be from A, B and from segment A to M, L and from then from segment B to C, D. So this will be the, how the flow of the circuit and flow of the current in the circuit will happen. Again during the cycle of cycle that is from 90 degree to 180 degree to so this is 180 degree 180 degree to 360 degree the segments BA will also change its position along with the coil. So the segment B will now be in contact with 
brush number A and segment A will be in contact with brush number 2. So this has switched from the previous cycle that was from 0 to 180 degree the motion of the coil. So the current in the circuit will again flow in the direction of, from DC to B, M, L and again from A to B. But what can be seen here is that the flow of the current in ML that is a load will always happen from M to L that is the direction of the current in the load will not change and it will happen in the same direction. So there is a rectifying action which has been achieved by split rings or commutator segments which is used to convert an EMF produced by a simple loop generator from AC to a DC. So this is a basic working prin principle or how AC EMF or AC current is induced, DC EMF or DC current is induced as output in any DC generator.